So this video will explain how we might use adult learning or live teaching at Bradford Dales Grammar School in the year 2021. Why might you be learning at home? Well, from January 2022, you may be self-isolating because you have COVID-19. Could be waiting for the results of a PCR test, or you might actually be at home for another reason, but ill. Just to say that if you are poor, you shouldn't be working, you should rest and get better before starting to work again, so that you completely recover. We might also be learning at home if the government calls another lockdown where people are taught remote. What will you be learning? Well, everyone who's working from home is entitled to a high quality remote learning offer that matches the school curriculum. So you should be learning the same things that you at school or your colleagues at school are learning. And how do we deliver this? Well, we use Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're self-isolating or you're waiting for the results of a test or you're at home for another reason, then the work will be in the posts on the first day on Microsoft Teams. And I'll show you where that, that they are in a moment. And then on class notebook from the second day onwards. If we go to another lockdown situation, your teachers will teach you live at, through Microsoft Teams. And again, I'll go through how that happens in a moment. So you may need a refresher or may not know how to access Microsoft Teams. So you need an internet connection to be able to do this. And you can access Microsoft Teams through the school website, which is www.bggs.com. Once you're on the home page, you need to click on the navy blue button, which you can see on the slide in front of you. And it has the following text, school portal login. When you click on that navy blue button, you'll see a menu that drops down in front of you. Click on the link one student and enter your school login details. Once you've logged in, you'll see your SharePoint homepage. This is where all your files are collected. Click on the three horizontal lines that will either one on the screen at the top left hand side of the page. And this then will allow the menu to drop down. From the drop down menu that you see, you should select one of your classes from the list. All your classes should be listed. Please get in touch with school if they're not. SharePoint is linked to your timetable, so they should be. So for in this case, uh, a year 11 pupil might click on 11A HI1 for their year 11 history team. From the menu that then appears, click on the class notebook in the centre of the screen. You can see the icon in front of you on the slide. This allows you to enter the class team and all pupils in your class are members of this team, along with any teachers that you may have. So if you have one teacher, you'll be connecting with them. If you have more than one, those teachers can all see that team. Once you're inside the team, you should see a screen that looks a little bit like this with a navy blue border. The class notebook where you will find uh, all the instructions, detailed instructions for your lessons if you are self-isolating but the rest of the school is in school, can be found by clicking on the tab at the top of the page that says class notebook. It's circled here so that you can see whereabouts it is. Now your Lessons from the second day onwards should be on the class notebook and should tell you exactly what you need to do for each lesson. Each lesson should be dated, have learning objectives and sets of tasks for you to complete and instructions for how to submit your work. It could be that you go home partway through a day and so therefore this doesn't give enough time uh, for the teachers to set up the detailed lessons that you need, they start from the second day that you're off. But on that first day, 
if you access the posts area from the team and you can see up on the top menu where, what you click on to access posts if you click on that you should find some first day work look on the post to one that's been um, made by your teacher and this should tell you what the first day work is so that you will always have some school work to do if you're at home but you're not well so if you do the first day work on the first day and then go to the class notebook from the second day onwards there should be your lessons there for you to access you may already have been accessing your homework via assignments on teams again this is circled for you but if you clicked on the assignment tab, this would show you any assignments that have been set by your teachers. Teachers often use this for homework, but they may use it for assessments if you're at home and they want to actually assess how you've um, completed the work. And it's an easy way for you to be able to submit your work for marking and some feedback. Now, if we go to another lockdown situation, then it could be that you need to access Teams for live teaching from your teachers. You'll get plenty of notice that this is going to happen, so that the school will be in touch with you. You'll know that you're working from home. Accessing your lessons is through the calendar part of Teams. So you need to log on to Teams through the website, as we've shown you before. If you can't remember, you could pause this video and rewind it and learn again about how to log on. So you log on to Teams and you click on the calendar button, which is on the menu from the left hand side of Teams. And this shows you where your lessons have been set up. So your teachers would set up lessons for the whole team to access as meetings and they will appear on your calendar if you double clicked on one of these like friday period one lesson then a little message will appear and you need to click on the blue join button to join the meeting at the time that your lesson would take place so this enables the timetable to run as normal the teachers will run the lessons they will share their screen They'll give you time to do some independent work and they'll check that you are learning just as they would do normally by using quizzes and by using assignments to assess your learning. If you find that you can't see anything on Teams, any work set for you, either on posts in the class notebook or you can't see all your classes, then in the first instance, you can contact your class teacher by calling into school or emailing them. If you've raised an issue and it still hasn't been resolved, then you should contact the relevant curriculum leader by email. Now, these people are listed on the slide that you can see. So Mrs. Shield for maths, Mrs. Hughes for English, Ms. Watson for science, Ms. Polobinski for modern foreign languages, so Spanish or French. Mrs. Plunkett for humanities. That could be citizenship, RS. It could be uh, classics. It could be geography. It could be history. Any queries relating to PE is Ms. Taylor. Enrichment subjects are computing, business, food and nutrition art, textiles, drama and music. Any queries relating to that, please email Mrs Mirza. For PSHE, it's Mrs Thorpe. And if you still feel you're getting nowhere, then please feel free to email me, Mrs Howarth, rhoworth at bggs.com. If necessary, you could pause this video and make a note of some of these email addresses. If you've got any technical problems so accessing Teams, then you can email, if you've got access to an email, helpdesk at bggs.com and the ICT technician and network manager 
will be only too happy to support you with any issues that you might be having with your computer or your internet connection. If you haven't got an email address, then you can also ring into school and you could ask for Mr Harland. I hope this video is useful in explaining how to use Microsoft Teams for accessing remote learning if you are off school, not unwell, but everybody else is in school and live teaching. Thank you very much for your time.